So, welcome to I'm a Rasta for Life. Princess is here in her kitchen. Um, so, because I have to generate lives via a video, this is what I'm going to do. So, this is my kitchen. And um, I'm over here because I lost access to my Facebook account. So, you know, I, I have a lot of things going on on Facebook. And until I can prove my identity, this is what they call just some diamond color light. Because sometimes you need better light to see the people than here. So, um, I'm the princess, I know them on Facebook. I'm a luster for life. And as mentioned before, I read the Bible, you know, to my Facebook followers. Now, I have over 15,000 followers on I'm a Rasta for Life, but I don't actually have all of them watching me either. But I have a little, you know, little, you know, base of people. I know they must be missing me, but when they, when they figure out that you know, there's issues going on, they'll be okay. Meanwhile, I said, let me go on YouTube and do something more than just being stagnant. So, this is the YouTube I'm a Rasta for Life. Oh, I have to pull some eye drops because my Now, as a grown woman, I'm a licensed nurse, right? I've been a licensed nurse for over 20 years. So I'm very experienced. What, and I am one of the most one of the most best nurses, put it like that, who cares about who they're taking care of. And I don't play it. When it comes to nursing, I love what I do. As much as I love nursing, I also love to cook. Now, what I've noticed in our up and coming years to the present time, that people are evil And once you come to the reality and the awareness that you're dealing with wicked people on this earth, the more better you become. I basically deal with the Almighty, the Creator. That's who I deal with. That's who I have a relationship with. The Almighty. I am also a Rasta. I might not be your typical looking Rasta. You know, there's a way to be looking like a Rasta. Denoy Morgan. My dear friend, sleep in eternal peace. I've known you since forever. So, Franco 
Aurelia Street in Bishop. Then where you are. One of my and he was one of actually a member on one of my groups. I'm a Rasta for life. You don't have to be dread to say Rasta on Facebook. So anyway, so I said, you know, um, <clears throat> being, you know, as you get older, your memory goes, and all of my passwords are saved into my Google account, but my son was saying to me, too, then now what you should do is write them down, every last one in a book, upload it to something, something, he said, upload it to one of your files or whatever. And that way you'll all always have access or whatever. But I'm going to start writing them in a book, a notebook. Because it's crazy when you lose the ability to access something because you forgot the passwords. And then you start to try to put in all the passwords and everything just goes crazy. So I just, I said, you know what, let me just leave it alone. So... I said, let me leave it alone because I have other things that I need to concentrate on. Which is a business venture I have that I'm going to now proceed with. Because on the job, I'm trying to see how I could do this without Rachel because I wanted to wash the dishes, but I'll wait. I'll wait. Better yet, perhaps I can move this because this thing is so. I have a, um, a stand for the phone. You can. Basically, I should just move the phone, right? I have nothing else to do, so I'm just creating content. I'm just creating content. Oh, I should put it here. Let's see. But well, there, it's even more darker. All right, let's see here. I hope it doesn't fall in the sink. Yeah, while I wash the dishes. So I'm just creating content on YouTube because I'm not going to rack my brains out trying to remember passwords and passcodes and key TV codes and all kind of codes. So I said, let me be resourceful and just go on YouTube and begin something new there because sometimes after a while, you do the same thing over and over again on one platform and you just have X amount of people but there's no interest so if there's no interest in bible reading on occasion but i do have a lot of viewers when i say a lot i say between between 30 on a good day to say you know 200 people who might tune in to see what i'm reading or what i'm talking about and so forth or just to be nosy so now that I'm gone for nearly two weeks, I wonder what's going on, how people are feeling that I'm not over there reading the Bible. I wonder if they're trying to figure out what's up. Because I can't con connect to Messenger without Facebook. So here we go again. So now, being... I, you know, as I said before, I have these little businesses on, you know, Facebook, so that's my main concern, and also my kitchen, which I do, you know, 
which I do my lives on, is basically everything's on Facebook. So now I'm going to have to actually reach out to Facebook with some, you know, documents to prove my identity. And that would take a couple of weeks. So I said, let me venture onto YouTube because I created this page, this thing here. Right, and I didn't know what I was doing, but I'm glad I did it. So I said, let me utilize this platform on YouTube because they say you have to make X amount of videos before you can actually start to go live. So that's what I'm doing. I used to wonder how come when I went on YouTube that, you know, people were making all these lives. But then I realized, well, not lives, but videos. I realized that's a requirement that has to be done in order for you to go live. So let me do that. That's what I'm doing now. Because when I actually begin, when I actually begin my partnership in cooking, I'm going to go live also. Yeah, I'm going to be doing some cooking. I've partnered with Uber Eats. So I'm going to use their platform to see how my cooking skills go. And if the people then like it. And then, you know, just build some menus. Not too much, but just build some menus and just... Um, what's the word? implement, modify, grow, and improve on that menu. So there's, you know, several menus where you can really, like, improve on your recipes on a daily basis until you get the right, you know, touch. So, Coming from a Jamaican background, you know, born in England, right? I was born in London, England, you know, I'm from a Jamaican culture. So we've always had meals prepared in a Jamaican fashion way. So as you grow older and you start cooking, not everybody can cook, you know, don't get me wrong, not everybody can cook. Now when you eat some people food, you have to say, God, I don't know, see, I have this. And then you eat some people food. If you eat people food, I mean, I really eat, but me attack when I was growing up and remembering the tastes of food. Delicious. For example, God rest his soul, then Roy Morgan's baby mother was cooking some beef. Me say, me say the woman I cook, it smell up the whole entire kitchen. And I went over to her and I said, let me see how you're doing that. I'll never forget that. And she showed me, and I never forgot how she showed me how to do that beef thing that she was doing. Oh, it's delicious. And I incorporated that kind of cooking because we were 12 tribe at the time, right? We were 12 tribe at the time. She's a 12 tribe member. And then Roy was a 12 tribe member as well. So going over to his house to rehearse music and so forth, his wife was in the kitchen. I cook and do all these things. Because with 12 tribe, you can't eat meat. Not Rasta, not, you know, they don't approve. Say, yeah, eat meat. But because we know the thing, we are not for nobody. So, yeah, so. <laughs> so, yeah, so. You know, there's a lot to be told. But other than that, I'm one of those people who do lives and I like to be, you know, doing my stuff. <laughs> so because I haven't been able to go on, you know, Facebook, I said, you know what, I'm going to do YouTube. So what I basically do is read my Bible and go over things. And um, once I know they miss 
I know they miss my voice as well. You know, because I read. But I'm, it's, it's going to take a while for me to get back on. So I'm going to do it on YouTube. If they figure out that I'm on YouTube or if I'm on IG, I can let them know. I can make a live and let them know that on. As a matter of fact, I think that's what I'm going to do too. Make a live. So with that, I'm going to end this one. <laughs> the video. <laughs> Later.